Welcome to a video from thegistlifestyle.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the PC Connect feature to use Miracast to get one PC to go to the other, the display of the other. I'm not on a tripod because I want to move around a little bit to show different things on the screen. So what I'm going to do is use this Encore 8 to transmit this display of this Encore 8 to the Surface Pro 3 there. This is running uh, the new build of Windows 10 14342 and uh, previous builds it only worked with the phone to PC this build works PC to PC so that's why I wanted to show this one so we're going to start off over here on the Encore so here we have the Encore 8 in fact what we need to do really is start off over here on the Surface because the Surface has got the Connect app which I've pinned here which is the Connect so that opens like that so that's where that's the receiver so to transmit we go back here to the main PC and uh, we can use Action Center. Let's see, we've got Connect. And then it should list available devices that we can connect to. The PC one there is Surface, the other one is a Bluetooth headset, so we'll do PC. And you see over here on the Encore, uh, on the Surface, it's showing that it's going to connect. Now, I found this works about 50% of the time, it's not always reliable in these. Uh, in these builds, so we'll see if it's going to work now. Right, so it's connected now. So if I uh, open something on here, Microsoft Edge. So I open Microsoft Edge, and you can see it over there on the Surface. In fact, you can see there's two start buttons. That's the Surface one. That's the start button of the Encore 8. Now it doesn't project back. Uh, so I can't sort of control the Encore 8 from the surface, it's just mirroring the screen of the Encore 8 and it's a little slow as well, so if I hit the Windows key on here no, it's not too bad actually, earlier on it seemed to be a bit slower but now it seems to be a bit faster so let me try opening say the weather app there you go, perhaps that's a bit more work for it to render so um, the weather app's coming up Interesting that it's not appeared on there. In fact, it's just uh, disconnected the, the connection there, so it's timed out. So you can see this is not the most reliable technology yet. Well, let me just try and reconnect. Right, I've reconnected now. I've got disconnected a couple of times. I wanted to test the lag, so I've hit the Windows key there, and you can see it hasn't come up yet on the Surface Pro. I think it's about to in a minute. There's quite a bit of lag on there. Um, See, sometimes there is and sometimes there isn't, and it's, it's using the Wi-Fi Direct, so I'm not quite sure what the, why there should be so much lag. What I'm going to do, there we go, it's come up. Well, just briefly, I'll test going the other way and see if the performance is any better from Surface to the Encore 8. So the reverse connection uh, currently isn't working. I guess a restart would do it. I've had, I had it working earlier on, and it's just exactly the same. The screen of the Surface is on there, and it had about the same amount of lag on there. So finally, I just wanted to show what happens if you've got a Windows 10 phone. If you've got a Lumia 950 or 950 XL, it supports Continuum, which uses the second display on the phone. So there we go. There's um, there's my phone, and that. Move, see, I'll show you a bit here. So there's my 950 XL, and it's using the second the. the second display there as its proper second display so I can open Groove Music and you see the phone I could be using email on the phone so that's continuum in action there so you, you can use it as a PC and um, you can connect a keyboard and mouse up to this phone Bluetooth or through the dock and you can control it so you can control it through there and you can even get the on-screen keyboard comes up when it when it needs to do and so on if you've got um, something like a 930 or 1520 it just mirrors the display um, if you've got a 950 or 950XL support continuum you've got full control so that's using the same PC Connect app so that's PC Connect on Windows 10 and you see PC to PC, phone to PC works the phone to PC works way better than PC to PC as you've just seen I think that's probably because the continuum drivers and everything in the phone are better or um, slightly more established than the ones in the PC. The PC to PC is a relatively new feature. So you can see more videos on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com and I'm at iStixon on Twitter.